To make training effective, it's crucial to provide learners with high-quality content. Today, we're going to look at how to create a training module that will keep your employees motivated and engaged in the long run. First of all, what's a training module? This is a learning content item designed to teach a specific topic or skill. There are different types of training modules, such as informational e-course, quiz or assessment, video tutorial, point-and-click interaction, or simulation. Offering a variety of content types allows you to create a richer and more robust training experience for all your learners. Let's take a step-by-step -step look at how you can actually put this idea into practice. The first step is to define the problem. Ask yourself detailed and probing open-ended questions to find out what problem your training module is going to solve. The answers you'll get will help you clearly define the business problem and move on to setting up training objectives. Next, write a training goal or objective. For the best results, think SMART, which stands for Specific, Measurable, Achievable, Relevant, and Timely. Once you've defined the problem and set up your objective, you're ready to create a training module. Let's look at some of the different modules you can create for different learning tasks. Remember, you can create all of these styles of modules in iSpring Suite, which is a course creation software for e-learning authors. You can create an information e-course. This is a training module that typically consists of slides with text, pictures, and next buttons. This provides learners with information on a specific topic. It's a good fit for delivering standard knowledge or skills to a wide audience of learners. It's also great for time-sensitive learning, like onboarding. iSpring keeps all the PowerPoint animations, their combinations, direction, timing, and triggers intact. Your next option is an interactive assessment module. Interactive assessments are a type of online quiz that incorporates a variety of question types, custom branching, and scenarios. This is the best way to measure your learner's level of knowledge as well as identifying learners who may need additional support. You can build your quiz in iSpring QuizMaker. You have a wide variety of question types from which to choose. Alternatively, you can create an FAQ interaction. This gives your learners one-click access to reference information and commonly asked questions, which is great for presenting basic information and reviewing subject matter details in question and answer format. iSpring Suite includes an FAQ template that can be customized to fit your needs. Another great option is video lectures and screencasts. A video lecture is an instructional video that has been recorded and saved for viewing at a later date. These are best for providing a large audience of learners with access to a particular lesson or speech. And a screencast is a video recording that captures the actions that take place on a screen. You can record both of these videos using iSpring Suite. Let's talk about the Dialogue Simulation Activity option. These can help your learners build communication skills by applying their knowledge in realistic conversations with colleagues and customers. It's easy to create a dialogue simulation in iSpring Suite. You simply choose your characters, backgrounds, and dialogue, and of course, response choices. Lastly is the Digital Job Aid module. This is a document or presentation that is accessible virtually and can be played, downloaded, saved, or printed by the learner. This is great for any learner who wishes to retain a document in digital format on their computer, mobile device, or on an internal drive. Okay, now that you've chosen the right module for your course and built it, it's time to send it to the subject matter experts and stakeholders. You can improve it based on their feedback. Before putting it into circulation across your organization, it's best to run a pilot. Select a test audience within your company and gather feedback from them both during and after the training. This is how you can find what gaps may exist in the training and improve it. Okay, now for the final step, creating the final version, uploading it to an LMS, and launching it. After your course is rolled out, be sure to evaluate the training results. You can measure them at different levels. To get user post-training feedback, you can carry out a reaction survey right within your LMS. Next, you can evaluate the increase in knowledge and skills. You can use online tests and quizzes or simulated tasks. You can easily track score results in the LMS. Finally, you can interview supervisors or team leaders and check if the employees apply their knowledge in the workplace effectively and what has changed.
And of course, find out how this change affects your business goals. If you follow these steps, you'll find that your training modules will be much more effective. Choose the right tools to develop your training materials, and don't forget to evaluate the training after rollout.